All right, put yourself in these shoes. You spend nights looking for a house to rent, days spent caring for a newborn. Well, that is the actual life of a teenager in Clark County who's just trying to guide her family through homelessness. You're about to meet her and hear how she managed to survive and turn her life around. It's the subject of tonight's Vegas Lost. Here's John Trainer with her story. Now, on Monday, we told you about the plan to end youth homelessness. Tonight, we show you just what's at stake. Ty Segan Hall is a singer and a survivor. Like the thousands of other teenagers who have walked into the Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth, she has a story, one of pain and of hope and growing up fast on Las Vegas streets. 2018 is when we got evicted from our home. Tysa Ken is one of four kids. In March of 2018, her older brother and sister lived in Arizona. Her younger brother was an infant. When they fell behind in rent, got evicted, Tysa Ken, then 18, scrambled. It was winter. She was in survival mode. She took her family to the only place she could think of that was warm and open, the airport. My mother is a cancer survivor and she also like had gotten to a car accident and then she got pregnant with my brother so she never her body never fully recovered from any of that and then my brother he's a baby so he was in and out of fevers and we were just like okay, we need to get somewhere where I was thinking about them like you two need to be warm you guys need to stay hydrated you guys need to eat something and so we got to the airport um, I stayed up as much as I could so that I could watch over them and make sure that they were fine and that they could get some kind of rest. The next year of her life is a blur of weekly apartments, evictions, and acting as a mom to her younger brother. Life was on hold. Despite not knowing if there would be a roof over her head, if her brother would be okay, she looks back and says she was lucky. It's such a traumatic experience, but it's very, we're very lucky to have kept getting those chances. That is what luck can be to a teenager in Las Vegas. Tysakan's story highlights some holes in our community. Only one in 10 extremely low-income households can find affordable or available rental homes in Las Vegas. More than 1,200 youth like her are found living by themselves on the street at any given day. But she did find a home of sorts right here. She found friends, warmth, and stability at Nevada Partnerships for Homeless Youth. We spent a day there. We found it too. That they really stress the importance of having a home. The whole vibe of the drop-in center is that it's when you come in, you're meant you're you're met with that kind of warmth, and it stays with you for the entire time that you're here. At NPHY, caseworkers helped her get out of her situation into emergency housing. They helped her get an ID and a job. You'll find therapy here and music class, which is where we found her singing Bring Cartelli's Grow Young, a song about growing up too fast, something Tysigan Hall knows all too well. I don't see the rush of growing old. All right, so Tysigan wants to be a singer, no surprise there. Actually, Bring mm -hmm. Cartelli retweeted her singing her song, which cool. is a pretty big moment. She works at the Venetian to make ends meet. She works, she lives and advocates at NPHY. She says her main goal is to make people see homelessness differently than I'm, how they see it now. I'm just blown away. What a remarkable young woman yeah. to take care of her siblings and everything else. Yeah, absolutely. And for our viewers out there, if you want to know more about NPHY, they're easy to find. It yep. exists in our community, and when kids get that sense of home, there's no limit to what they can do. Without it, it is tough. Yeah, absolutely. You don't know the value of anything if you've never had anything of value. Still considers herself lucky after right. all this. John, thank you. Yeah. All right, so if you have any ideas for our Vegas Lost series, you can email those to Vegas Lost at News 3 LV. Dot com. We also have a new Vegas Lost hotline, that number is 702-909-2138. In just a few minutes, John will continue the conversation on our Facebook page, the News 3 Facebook page. He'll take your comments and your questions live.